the components required for this experiment are ESP32 board, soil moisture sensor, relay, breadboard, battery, water pump, connecting wires and connecting cable. Now log in to the bling.cloud website. Then go to developer zone. Here click on new template. And here we need to give the template name. Smart irrigation system with ESP32. Then select the hardware as ESP32 and connection type as Wi-Fi. Then click on the done button. Now go to data streams. Here we need to create two data streams. The first one is for the soil moisture. So here we need to select virtual pin and give the variable name as soil moisture. And select the pin number as V5. Because in the program we mentioned the virtual pin as V5. So we are selecting the data stream as also V5 and select the data type as double. If you want we can change this color and give the maximum value as 700. Now click on the create button. Now create the second uh, data stream. Again select the virtual pin and here we need to give the name as pump. This is for the water pump. Here we need to select the uh, pin number as V6 and because we selected the uh, pin as V6 in the program. So this is for the pump. Here also we can change the color if we need it and now click on the create button. Now go to web dashboard. Here we need to drag two widgets. The first one is the gauge widget for the soil moisture. And the second one is the switch. Now go to the settings of this gauge. Here select the data stream as soil moisture. And click on the save button. Now go to the settings of the switch and here select the data stream as pump and again click on the save button. Now we need to go to events and notifications. Here we need to select an event to get the uh, alert if the moisture is below the trust threshold value. Now click on the create event button. Here we need to give the event name. So in the program we gave the event name as moisture underscore alert. Copy this and paste here and also we need to give the description. So here the description is soil moisture is below the threshold value. Copy this description and paste here. Now we enter the description and now here we need to select the time as one second. And here we need to enable this show event in notifications section of the mobile app. So enable this one and also enable this button send event to timeline. Then go to notifications and here we need to enable the notifications. And here we need to select the email to option as device owner and push notifications to device owner and also we need to enable this deliver push notifications as alerts also enable the notifications management now click on the create button and now save the template now go to devices and here click on new device and then select from template here we can see the template which we created 
smart irrigation system with ESP32. Select that and click on the create button. Now we got the template ID, template name and authentication token. Copy this and paste in our program. Then we need to enter the Wi-Fi username and Wi-Fi password. And now go to this drop down and here you can see the port. Select that port and now we need to select the board. So we are using ESP32 uh, uh, board and we need to select the model as ESP32 DAO module. Select that and click on the OK button. Now click this arrow button and upload the program to the ESP32 board. Now the program is successfully uploaded to the ESP32 board. Now we need to set up the Blink mobile dashboard. For that, download the Blink IoT application from the Play Store. Now once you open the application, you can see the template which we created in the Blink web dashboard. Now click on this template. Now click this settings icon. From the bottom, click the plus button. Now here also we need to add one gauge and one switch widget. Click on this gauge. Now again click the plus button and add this button. Now select the gauge and here choose the data stream as soil moisture. Now go to design and give the name soil moisture. If you want we can change the color from here. Now go back now click the button and here select the button mode as switch and select the data stream as pump. Here also go to design and give the uh, title pump. Now go back again click the back button. Now the setup is completed and now we can check the output.